guys you are most welcome again on my youtube channel and in uh, yesterday's video we studied Langlin and his work Pyre's Diplomat today we are going to talk about uh, John Gower and he is remembered for his three works the important works are Spaculum Meditantis in French, Vox Clementis in Latin and Confessio Amentis in English now again I want to thank you for uh, supporting this series and I want to request you that whenever you finish watching the video please uh, do share and thumbs up the video for uh, you know it increases our ranking video ki ranking thodi bad jati hai so you can help me in this way let's go ahead and uh, let's talk about more about John Gower some important thing about uh, this work is uh, it is a conventional allegory and with the disquisition of the seven deadly sins so these are important things to know it is conventional allegory and it describes seven de deadly things uh, sins let me tell you one important fact about this thing where, where to focus kahan isko samajhna hai do teen cheeze hain ek to octosyllabic uh, couplet unhone use kiya tha narrative style use kiya tha and uh, another thing he was a conscious moralist but he was not a social reformer he was not like uh, chaucer who was concerned about you know he had sympathy for contemporary movements chaucer had sympathy for contemporary movements chaucer ko sympathy thi jo bhi movements ho rahe the jin bhi cheezon ke liye wo social cheezon ke bare mein concern tha but gower was not that kind of person okay and uh, he was also a storyteller like chaucer अब एक चीज आप बेसिक थिंग आप सोच सकते हैं और यू कैन टेक अप टू दिस पॉइंट हु एवर इज राइटिंग वट एवर दे आर राइटिंग दे आर राइटिंग अबाउट स्टोरीज दे आर राइटिंग यू नो स्टोरी टेलिंग नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट चौस वी टॉक अबाउट लैंगलैंड दे वर कंसर्न अबाउट सोसाइटी बट जॉन गाओ वॉज नॉट he was uh, just a writer he was just writing but we can call him as it is written here conscious moralist all right now we are going to talk about prose in chaucer says it was a little it was uh, a few works were there okay if we are talking about uh, prose in chaucer is important thing is we were using sorry we were not we were not there but the writers were using english for just translation work as you can see here okay they were just translating the works they were not writing original work and what they were translating they were translating french and latin works us time jo chaucer ke is mein english ko use kiya ja raha tha to wo kiya ja raha tha french and latin works ko translation ke liye bahut sara work nahi tha prose mein there was only a few work okay there was original works like uh, chaucer's canterbury tales langlin spire's diploma these were a few works were there okay and most of uh, most of works were written in verse and only a few were written in prose okay in canterbury tales we have uh, you know a, a few only only a few works in prose if you don't know if you want to go through all the works you can uh, check out the other videos previous videos okay so here is a person named john of trevisha john of trevisha was a priest and he translated higden's polychronicon from latin about in about 1387 and its style is crude and awkward and sentences are long and tortuous so these are you know of less important but we should know these things hame ye sari cheeze लेस इम्पॉर्टेंट तो है लेकिन हमें जाननी है बिकॉज वी नीड टू कनेक्ट दीज थिंग्स टू अदर थिंग्स टू नो इंग्लिश लिटरेचर बेटर हमें समझना है कि इंग्लिश लिटरेचर uh, किस तरह से इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज फॉर्म हो रही है आप देख सकते हैं कि अभी अभी तक किसका विच लैंग्वेज आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रेंच एंड लैटिन ओके एंड नाउ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इज डोमिनेटिंग ग्रेजुअली यू विल सी द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज वेन वी आर स्टडिंग इंग्लिश लिटरेचर we are studying the development of english literature okay now development of prose development of drama development of poetry development of non fiction aap dekhenge ki 
अभी मैं मैंने एक वीडियो जो अभी बनाया है उसके लिए सिलेबस के लिए आप उसे जरूर देखिएगा जिसे मैं अपलोड करूंगा ठीक है तो उसमें मैंने यही चीज़ बताई कि कुछ भी ज़्यादा चेंज नहीं हुआ है और आपको किस तरह से उसको देखना है तो यही सारी चीज़ें हैं कि हमको डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर वर्क अगर हम देखते जाएंगे एक सीरीज बनाते हुए चलेंगे तो डेफिनेटली ये हमें लॉन्ग रन में हेल्प करेगा और अगर आप देखेंगे कोचिंग सेंटर्स के नोट्स अगर उठा के और आप उन्हें रटने बैठ जाएंगे तो डेफिनेटली आप उस इंग्लिश लिटरेचर को एक तरह से इंजॉय नहीं करेंगे आप सिर्फ एग्जाम पास करने के लिए पढ़ रहे हैं सो इंजॉय द थिंग्स एंड इट विल ब्रिंग सक्सेस टू यू सो वी टॉक अबाउट जॉन ऑफ ट्रेविशर नाउ नेक्स्ट वन इज ट्रेवल्स ऑफ सर जॉन मैंडिवल इट इज अ मेमोरेबल ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ अ फ्रेंच वर्क विच अपियर्ड इन थर्टीन According to the preface, Mandeville an adventurous knight. So, who was Mandeville? Mandeville was an adventurous knight, and he set out on his journey to eastern countries in 1322. This is, uh, you know, short glimpses of the work. So, this is, uh, in, uh, in short, it was, you know, story of adventure, and adventure was being done by Mandeville. Mandeville ke adventures hain. और जब वो वहाँ से आते हैं वो जाते हैं वेर ही गोज ही गोज टू ईस्टर्न कंट्रीज एंड ही कम्स बैक एंड देन ही टेल्स हिज एक्सपीरियंस टू अदर्स और लोगों को बताते हैं वट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नो अबाउट दिस वर्क इज इट इज अ वर्क ऑफ फिक्शन अब ध्यान दीजिए कि कहाँ से शुरू हो रहा है फिक्शन ओके दिस इज इन सिलेबस टू फिक्शन फ्रॉम हियर एंड ही यूज यू नो ब्यूटिफुल इमेजरी इन दिस अनबिलीवेबल एंड फेंटेस्टिक डिस्क्रिप्शन आर देयर and the other thing to know about this work is it is not for moral edification it is just for entertainment ye jo work likha gaya hai travels of sir john mandeville ye sirf uh, entertainment ke liye hai it is written in simple clear and effortless and charming style the sentences are short and well constructed the narration is simple and straightforward it exercised a healthy influence on the development of english prose so i i always emphasize on this thing that just focus on development of particular genre george centbury remarks about this work as to see the marvel of the rising of literary prose style in english there is no better way than to read the travel of sir john mandeville and according to hertson it keeps its place as first english prose classic so remember this first english prose classic which ones travels of sir john mandeville Now, if we talk about Chaucer, he was just a, a translator. Okay, if it it comes when it comes to prose writing, जब वो prose लिखते हैं तो वो simply एक translator हैं. But जब वो poetry लिखते हैं, he is original with his poetry, but he is just a translator for prose. He did not write, you know, original stories. Now, John Wycliffe is there. John Wycliffe comes from Oxford. He he was a educated at oxford and uh, then he he took some parts in you know ecclesiastical uh, feuds jo bhi jhagde hote the ecclesiastical feud ka matlab jo bhi adhyatmik jitne bhi jhagde hote the he wanted to take parts and he wanted to speak out about these things okay and he was an active controversialist of his time wycliffe wrote many books in latin so again you can see french and latin he was writing uh, again in uh, latin and as we know that he was a uh, religious uh, you know he was related to religious feuds and other things in jhagdo pe rehte the and he is the first person who translated bible remember this one okay he was the person who supplied he supplied the first element of the biblical language which was to be an integral part of the english and was to be used for the famous authorized version of the bible okay why why cliff made english the popular language of the religious thoughts that's all for the day and uh, you can just pause the video and you can write down the chronology and i hope after watching video you should know these uh, all topics well and you can write down in comment box how much you loved and uh, how much you learned from this uh the is of chaucer and we will be carrying on to next is now
So thank you for watching. Bye bye. Take care. See you next video.